Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can connect to Google Cloud Pops Up using Spring Boot and Camel. We have already seen how we can connect with a normal Spring Boot and Spring integration. We just published the message into the Spring Boot Pops Up, you know, Google Cloud Pops Up. But in this video, I'll show you how you can consume and also you can produce message into the Google Cloud Pops Up. I'm going to create the topic and subscription and then we're going to create the service account with the required permission. And after that, we're going to create the Spring Boot project that are required with all the dependencies. And we will you know, produce and consume the messages from Google Cloud Pops Up. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's head over to the GCP console. I already have a project in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to topics. You can just go for uh, services and search for Pops Up. You will be landing on this page. Once you are here, just click on create topic. I don't have a topic right now. So click on create topic. And right here, um, I just selected add default subscription. I'll also give a name, um, like demo. Okay. So this is my topic ID and I'm just going to leave it to the Google manage encryption key right here. And I'm not going to select any of this. So if you want to export the message to BigQuery or if you want to back up the data into Google Cloud Storage, you cannot do all those stuff. And now you can also enable message retention in the same topic that you're creating you can do all those stuff but i'm not going to do all those stuff right now i'm just going to create a topic with the default subscription on it once you create it it'll take a little time to create it so if you look at here our topic is created um this is our subscription but this is our topic so if you see here this is that our topic is created so once you click on the subscription you will be able to see the complete path how you can connect to the topic or how you can um, connect to the um subscription right one one that ends with sub is the subscription and this one is the topic name so now we have the topic ready let's go to iam and create the service account that I need. okay go to iam and click on service accounts okay so i'm going to create a new service account okay let's type in yt of sub demo okay this is my service account name let's click on continue so if you see here, here we have the PubSub subscriber role. So first I'm going to just subscribe to it. So I'm just selecting this. Okay. And if you want, you can also add one more role for the publisher, publisher role, right? I'll just select this as well for this and then click on continue and then click on done. That's it. So the service account is ready. So if you go here, where's the white team? So YT pub sub demo. So this is the service account that is created. Once you are here, you can just go to keys and click on add key, create a new key. Okay, we are going to use this key to connect to the Google Cloud. Okay. So we have the key right in generator. So let's close this and we'll have that key added to our project. So we don't need to worry about that. Let's go to spring initializer. So we'll create our Java project. So the GCP part is done. We have done the step one and two. We'll go to step three now to create the Spring Boot project. Now I'm just, just going to create with Java, Maven, and then 21. Just so say this is white. And I will say add dependency. You can add camel. And you can also add long walk if you want. Okay. Uh, these are the two dependencies right now I'm adding. So we'll add more dependencies once the project is created. Just click on generate. I've loaded the project into IntelliJ right now. So we are here. So I'm going to update the YAML file. Go to resources. I'm going to rename this. Once you're here, in here you can see that it is referring to the application name. I'll just update this right away. So this is just the property. So. Um, we are going to include a dependency to connect to PubSub. If you look at here, we have a Camel Spring Boot starter. So we are going to include Camel Spring Boot PubSub dependency. So let me copy and paste it right here. Paste it. So we are going to use this. Okay, I select the co version. So we just have to do this. I'll just do a Maven refresh. 
should uh, load the dependency. And meanwhile, we'll move into application YAML and add the necessary uh, properties that we need to add, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have YAML, okay, YAML. Inside that, I'm gonna render the uh, controller, so Spring Boot and controller, right? So when you start the application, it has to run continuously. So that for that, this property will help you. Otherwise, the application will start and then it will just terminate as it is. Controllers, as we don't have any web service running in, we need to have this. So if you have a server running, so you don't need this, right? So after this, so we're gonna have a component and the component is gonna be uh, Google pops up and I'm gonna give the service account key right here right so for this it's gonna refer to the class path so I'm just going to copy and paste the one that we have down right go back to my download folder and then just copy it okay. just going to take the name copy the file name and just paste it okay and that's it. So this is going to automatically connect to Google Cloud, right? So let me create, so this is the application right here, right? So we can start the application right away. So it should run, work fine. But before that, let me add a route to this. So I will just say a router. Okay. So this class is going to extend a route builder from camel. Builder, route builder. Okay, so we need to implement a method, the configure method. So if you're work, if you're familiar with Camel, you should be knowing this. So the rate component. So with this, I'll just go here and say from. I want to access it from Google. Okay, so I'll just give the subscription name here. Okay, so so this should be in the format of the component name, okay, component, colon, oh, slash, slash, then the project ID, colon, subscribe. So if you provide this, it's gonna take it from the Google Cloud Automate, right? And after that, so what we say is, we will just log body like this. So it will be available in the exchange. So after that, you can also send it to a processor, to process, you can say your exchange. So what do we want to do? Let's say I'm just sys out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spring message equals exchange dot get in whatever we receive, right? So it's gonna be, will be available on get. In hard get body, I'll receive a string class. So with this, it's gonna provide me the message. I'll just log it right here. Okay. So yeah, that's all we need to do is to subscribe the message from Google Cloud. So, I'll just update this. So our component name is nothing but the Google pops up. I'll update that right here. And then the project ID, we can take, click on here and then you can just uh, go to all so that you can select it. This is the one is my, my project ID right here. Give it and then the subscription name, uh, as I told, you just have to go to here. So on this YouTube demo, the topic. On the topic, you should see the subscription. Click on the subscription and just copy this. It's gonna be our subscription name. Copy this and come back here and then paste it. Okay, oh, sorry, it did not copy. Okay, that's it. So, so with this, I think should work. Let me start the application. So if you look at here, so we have connected to this consumer and then we have started this route so it has started so camel is also running so let's go back to google cloud topic click on the topic and go to messages let's uh, push some message so i'll just say one message i'll say 
the world. Let's publish it. We should receive that right here. So if you see here, message received, hello world, then the processing message. So this is that simple that if you are using Camel, integrating Google Cloud with all the services which is much easier. And even if you are, if you want to publish some, you know, something to this um, topic, you can create a route. Let me do that as well. So let me say, let me create a direct route. Okay, direct post message. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, once you receive this dot to, I'll just say this. And then copy this, and then put it right here. And then it's gonna be demo night. So, so what I'm basically saying is, once you receive the message uh, in this direct route, post it to this pub sub topic. Okay. For this, we need to create a controller. I'm going to include this dependency. Okay, I'm including this to have an endpoint configured. Okay. Yep, I do. So, say this. Click. Use a template dot send. Give the endpoint. See endpoint. Direct message, copy this, put the controller, comma, say the body as message. Oh, okay. Now we can say this and then restart the application. Provide the mapping. Let's see. There we go, the application has been started. You can see here the application is running. But in this case, if you see here, there is two routes that are created. Okay, I'm going to hit this API to see it's working fine. Set 200, okay. So if you see here, so it says message received from API call. Okay, so it means that the API that we have created it has posted the message to PubSub and then from there our subscriber consumed it and then displays that. Okay, So we have seen how we can publish the message to PubSub and also how we can consume it. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and just post and comment whatever you like and you don't like. Thanks for watching.